It's no secret that I have a bit of an unhealthy obsession with the obscure 90s operating system, BOS. In fact, I recently drove 800 miles with a gigantic quad CPU PowerPC Daystar just to run BOS on it. And I've been a longtime fan of Haiku, the open source successor to BOS that's been in development since 2001. But there have been some developments that might actually now make Haiku completely reasonable as your daily driver operating system. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy the elegant simplicity of the 90s, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you're not familiar with the Haiku operating system, welcome to the channel. You must be new. Let me give you a 30 second quick history. B was founded in 1990 by former Apple exec Jean-Louis Gassier. They built BOS, a fast and advanced operating system that almost became the basis for Mac OS X. When BOS unfortunately failed in the marketplace, a group of enthusiasts created OpenBOS, which was later renamed to Haiku due to copyright. And over the next 20 years, Haiku grew from a community update to BOS to a full-fledged operating system with BOS binary compatibility. And recently, there has been a development in Haiku software, which removes what I think was the last real roadblock to everyday use, the Falcon web browser. So let's install the latest nightly build of Haiku, explore the current state of the OS and its software, and in addition to Falcon, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you should see. But first, we need to build a machine to install it on. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, PCBWay. Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB prototyping and production, but they also offer on-site PCB assembly, and they can source some of the components with their turnkey service. They also offer high quality 3D printing, injection molding, CNC machining, even sheet metal fabrication. Right now, PCBWay has great deals on flexible PCBs in case you need your electronics project floppy. So if you have any PCB or prototyping needs, this is the perfect time to give PCBWay.com a try. So in a somewhat unusual move for this channel, we're actually going to build a machine that's well suited for the operating system we're going to run on it. This was once my gaming PC. It has an 8-core AMD FX Vishera processor, which is pretty old from like 2014 but still pretty powerful, I think. It has 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, well, at one point I was using this as network attached storage, hence all these spinning hard disks here. But you'll notice it is missing a couple things, namely the video card, and for some reason the power supply. I have no idea why I took that out. And I went and scrounged up a whole bunch of video cards I had laying around, but I think the best option here is gonna be this. It's a Radeon RX 580 with eight gigs of VRAM. And uh, although the Haiku operating system is not 3D accelerated, that is in the works. And when it is ready, this is the kind of card it will work with. All right, I found a 725 watt power supply, uh, a bit overkill. And we'll just leave it loose in the case as is tradition and a brand new minty fresh Samsung SSD. And since this MSI 970 gaming motherboard actually still has a PS2 port, we can use our favorite $1 thrift shop keyboard. I've got the latest nightly image of Haiku on this USB stick. Oh man, these old Apple cinema displays just look fantastic. All right, we're just going to straight up install Haiku, which is the fastest operating system install you'll ever see. Set up partitions here, format our disk, and install. Look at that go, that's real time. <laughs> that's incredible, come on. If nothing else, that install is incredible. And here we are from blank SSD to fully installed desktop, probably faster than Windows 11 even boots up. 
First thing I'll do though is just check for updates with software updater and also this will, I guess, see if we're online. All right, update everything. So web browsers on Haiku have always been kind of a sticking point. We haven't had a modern build of Firefox in many years and we've never had a version of Chrome or Chromium. In my opinion, the best browser for Haiku historically has been its native web browser, Web Positive, which honestly, I'm a huge fan of. I love the look and feel of this browser. It works great for kind of everyday browsing. It's fairly modern, but it does kind of fall apart when you get into more intensive web apps like Let's say we try to watch a YouTube video on Web Positive. Eh, even this homepage takes quite a while to load. Now, my friend Userlandia actually just posted a video about the IBM 386 Tower of Power. Ah, eh, well, look at that. <laughs> At this point, YouTube won't even let us play the video. Yeah, YouTube not really working here in Web Positive. Now, we did have a more recent browser a few months ago, and that is GNOME Web, which is much more compatible with modern web apps. And let's try to watch that same video in GNOME Web. Stand aside. This is a large computer, and it takes long. Yeah, look at that. It does play. Yes, it's IBM. Let's go full screen. If one of these behemoths well, into your it collection. works. You need to be the frame rate is a little iffy. Brains. And you we're only in 720p. Let's try to go into HD 1080p. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it works. Boy, but it I chugs. Liftable is the better term. On the bottom of the case, yeah, look at that. We're not even pedestal. playing at this point. It's because trying to catch up. Enter the Falcon web browser. Previously known as Cupzilla and now officially part of KDE, Falcon is a fast and modern web browser based on Qt Web Engine, which itself is a renderer based on a de-googled Chromium. And let's try to watch that same video here. Computer, All right. And it takes large steps. Full screen. Yes, it's IBM's biggest, baddest, and heaviest computer of 1987. Bamboozles. And that is this silky is smooth. Look at that. IBM took we can even scrub through the video and check it out. We are in 1080p HD. It could hold a floppy drive. Up. By the way, I really recommend you watch this video from Userlandia. This machine is super cool. Okay, how about something really cool and challenging? This is the Infinite Mac, which allows you to actually emulate vintage Macintosh systems, 68K and PowerPC, in the web browser in JavaScript. So here we are in Falcon. Let's try System 3.0. <laughs> Check it out. We are booted into a Mac OS here. Yeah, fully booted. Look at that. Let's try the same thing in web positive. All right, this has been going for several minutes now. I don't think this is going to work. Let's try it in GNOME web. All right, it did boot. Not yet responding, and uh, Gnome Web seems to have frozen as I try to go back to the home page. Alright, I think the JavaScript engine within Gnome Web is not quite as nice as the one in Falcon. Just for fun, let's try something a little more taxing. macOS 9.0 emulated on PowerPC. All right, we are already in emulation here. All right, and it took about a minute to get to the Mac OS 9 desktop here. Really about as fast as an actual Macintosh. Let's try the same thing in GNOME Web. 
All right, noticeably slower, but still, I'm very surprised at how fast these emulators work in the browser. I mean, it's just JavaScript. All right, we are at nearly double the time it took to load in Falcon, and we are not yet at a usable desktop. In fact, uh, the cursor is not moving at all, and I'm slightly concerned that this froze. Uh, yep, JavaScript has become unresponsive. No such luck, as soon as we get to this stage of the desktop loading, the activity light stops, and uh, pretty sure it just freezes. Oh yeah, you better believe that this thing runs marathon. Okay, some other really cool things from the Haiku Depot that are one-click installs, and I think you should see. There's Boxed Wine, which is actually a boxed version of Linux running Wine, so you can run Windows applications. Not only that, but you can just install from a list of demos without even having to do anything. Look at this. <laughs> Check that out. The original Diablo shareware is a one-click install here on Haiku. How cool is that? If you want a little more recent Windows, I've got a front end, a QEMU, a QEMU. Ha, check it out. How about let's install BOS on Haiku. QEMU is awesome. Yep, just a totally normal BOS install <laughs> inside of Haiku. BOS inside of Haiku is kind of like Mac OS Classic inside of OS X, just in an alternate universe. Neat. Oh, and one other cool thing, someone has actually created a script to automatically download and install Minecraft, real modern Minecraft, including a patched version of some libraries, which is required to run it here. But yeah, check it out. Haiku has real Minecraft. It's official. You can daily drive Haiku. Okay, so I know the title of this video is a little bit dramatic, but it's also kind of true. I mean, I've been making attempts to daily drive Haiku on and off for years because I'm kind of a nerd and I love it. And now, more than ever, is the perfect time to try out this free open source operating system. There's so much love and passion put into it, such a dedicated community, and yeah, it's so much fun to play around with. It really feels like Linux felt back in the 90s, a new uncharted territory of unlimited possibility, only this time we have Minecraft and a really good web browser. And I do plan on more Haiku videos in the future. The 32-bit version of Haiku is binary compatible with BOS, and I'd really like to try to run BOS software on it. And I have it installed on a really cool ThinkPad right now. But that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more yellow title barred shenanigans like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman 1, Alex Hoffman 2, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Out Reese, Daniel Hubbard, Eric Shields, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, George F. Rosansky, Greg from Front Game Mods, James Fryman, James Laurie, Jason Papaz, Jason Zell, Camille Rakowski, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowell, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Tom Woodfin, Unknown Soldier 41, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.